And there's Amber with <laughs> Las Vegas behind her, but you're still here in Southern California where the weather is chilly, but at least the rain has stopped in most places. Yeah, right? this is a pretty good graphic. Kind of, you, you could almost believe that I was in front of the Bellagio. Uh, no, but let's talk about the game day forecast because I know all eyes right now are on the sky, especially uh, as you're headed to Las Vegas for the Super Bowl. So the outside temperature on game day will be about 53 degrees, but it's okay because it's going to be a little cooler, but we'll have that sunshine. But once you're inside of that stadium, it's going to be really comfortable. We're talking temperatures in the low 70s. So it really doesn't matter whether it's rain or shine uh, in Las Vegas because once you're inside that stadium, it's going to feel really nice. Uh, but here in Southern California, it is chilly. So we are left with now a lot of this cold air kind of just gripping Southern California. Now that this latest storm system is slowly trying to move out of here. 45 degrees for the Riverside area. So grab your layers this morning. Take a look at that satellite radar. This was a quick moving system. It came in in the evening and then it kind of pushed out of here just after midnight, but it did give us a measurable amount of rain. We saw anywhere from a half an inch to a little bit more than that, more than an inch for some of our mountain communities. But right now the satellite radar is showing uh, that we could see some isolated light scattered showers depending on where you live. But we have a five day rain total for Orange County and the Inland Empire because this was just issued. So this kind of gives you an idea just how much rain we got over the last few days. So Lytle Creek, which is up in the mountains of San Bernardino County, saw over 14 and a half inches. Santiago Peak in Orange County uh, saw over 11 inches and Glen Helen Park for the Inland Empire just under 11 inches over 8 inches for Cota de Casa in Orange County and then the Riverside Airport saw just over 4 inches of rain. So we got some nice rain amounts here in Southern California for downtown LA. This puts us well over where we should be for the month of February. Normally we should see about three and a half inches of rain just for February alone. We saw uh, at least triple that. So now this puts us well over 15 inches for the season. That's that rainy season since we set the rain gauges back down to zero on October 1st. Our annual average is normally just over 14. So we are good to go for the rest of the year. Uh, so that means we got so much rain just over the last few days that really helped us out. So this is what we're watching for. As I mentioned, light scattered showers possible this morning, but then we start to dry up as we head into the second half of the day. The breezes will come into play and that's going to help try to push out any of that leftover moisture, but our temperatures will remain below average. We still have a chance for more of those snow showers to develop over the mountains today, and then our snow levels could get as low as 3,000 feet. Take a look at the wind gusts. So we're starting to see some really gusty conditions in Laguna Beach, in the Wrightwood area, and then also in Ojai. As we head toward the weekend, this is where we finally start to gradually warm up and we're going to start to see some 60s return for some areas tomorrow. But for the Inland Empire, you probably won't see 60s until about Sunday. Kalina.